this being on the back should patches his back. guys for this one we are going to be installing smoothers um, onto our CR20 get that to focus there uh, I got the wire here now if you want to know why we're installing these I'm not going to go into it because I'm not an expert however I am going to put a link in the video to explain exactly what this does Instead, I'm going to show you how to install it on the CR20 Pro, okay? So, let's install a couple of these on our X and Y axes. So, in your Creality User Manual, you will see this. And this is going to tell us that the X motor and the Y motor are these two right here. Now, you do get three in the pack that I'm going to link. So, you can do the Z motor. If you want but the question is on the CR20 where is the circuit board well I'm glad you asked that let me show you the circuit board for the CR20 is on the bottom you will see these screws you will take your handy dandy screwdriver that you got and take each one of these screws off Side note, don't use the little screwdriver. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. And there we go. So if you remember, get into the light we looked up on the directions that this was the Y and X and this was the Z okay so what we are going to do is we are going to take the X out and we're going to hook it up to our smoother and I'm going to take and cut these which they're double-sided tape to um, make sure it sticks onto the side or um, the back here just to keep it out of the way and this being on the back should patches his back This being on the back, this being on the back should, this being on the back should stop it from shorting out and everything. So let's cut these and get these in. Okay, one of the things with my CR20 is that there is a glue on top of these that you're going to have to cut off and I don't know if that's focusing there we go um, so you can just take like a knife and slice off the top of the glue and you'll be able to get out the connections to then put this in so we've got get that to focus we've got our double-sided tape on there okay we're going to, it doesn't matter what end you put it in. All right, can go either way. One end of the wire goes into there and hooks on one side and then the wire for the actual motor goes in the other end and then you can just take and stick it on there. 
Okay, there we go. There's one, and I'm going to do the other. So, the great thing about YouTube videos is time travel. Yes, we have moved forward. After I put in the first um, smoother, I put in the second on the Y axis, and then did decide to put in the Z axis. Um, and doing some more research, uh, people do put them on the extruder motor. Um, I did not have enough. Most you will need four. Um, some you will need five. Uh, it comes in a pack of three. So link down below. You can order um, two, three packs and you should be good. But I have gotten the... I have gotten it back together uh, with the smoothers and I believe next we are going to change the cord here for your filament and also this motor will be the next two things that we do. So those will be in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you put the back panel on correct. Uh, when you're putting it back on uh, match up the fan holes and stuff like that but it's pretty easy so we got the TL smoothers in we're going to head on and continue the upgrades so I will see you guys soon I'm an optimist just keep me coming back when you call me it's a kind of go I hear it running through my blood.